point passing to run their offense since they're so physically outmatched at the net. Jump serve from Haley Eckerman. Rock that one. Ball right back to Texas. Bell. Good defense from Sable. The swing from Toon is dug up. Webster gets the tip down. Or they can bring the heat or just a little smoke over the top. And that's what you want to do. You want to vary your swings. And this time, plus the ball was so close that if Bailey Webster had swung away, she would have hit the net. Can't touch the net. And she places it in just the right spot after the defense was on its heels. Not just the elevation of Webster, but we see the hang time there as well. Two dug up in the back by Ackerman. Michigan block able to slow it down. And now Irwin misses it wide. And a rough start continuing deep into this first set for Irwin, the junior out of Spring, Texas. She now has three kills, three errors out of 15 swings on the season. She's been hitting over 200, but right now zero. You take your kills, you subtract your errors, divide it by the total. A good number is 250 or better, especially 300 at times, but she's hitting zero. Karch, this set may be out of reach, but what do you need to see from Michigan here before Texas gets the last five points? The most important thing is play, as they say they have been doing, especially in the last month and a half, play one at a time. Play for each other and know that any time this could turn around. Plus, you never know. This game is not over yet, and you want to build momentum for the next game, get into a better rhythm. And it starts with an ace from Dana Miller. Lexi Danamilla, the sophomore from Westchester, Ohio, led the Big Ten in assists this season. And this is a cross-court serve. She catches the passer, cheating to her left, and then beats her to her right. Webster with a big swing. Well, the other thing Michigan knows is they lost in the region final that first set to Stanford and then came rolling back to take three straight. So. And there was a match earlier in the season where they lost pretty badly to Nebraska, then fell down 10-0 in the second game. Coach Rosen had burned both his timeouts by that point. They had not scored a single point, and they came back to win that match. So they know they can turn it around. Team stuffed. Rolling from the back. Nice sliding chicken wing. By the Bell. middle. Yes, Bell, nice. Excellent coverage, and then long on the swing. Over the triple block, Texas was ready and waiting for it. Credit that play to Bell. What a nice job she did. Cat Bell's middles stay in sometimes to serve, play defense, and then they leave for the libero. Now she gets another turn to serve by earning her team the opportunity with that great dig. Now to Tim. Well played by McCage. Webster off the tape. Owen oh, stuffed again at the net. And you saw that time, Texas with three blockers up, six hands in front of Irwin. That's what you have to do to slow her down out of the back row. Nicely executed by Bailey Webster, number 23 there, to get back in from the sideline to help. Well, in coach right now, Lexi Irwin has taken 18 of their 36 attempts. So if you're a Longhorn, aren't you just looking for her and waiting? Yes, and the other thing is, if you're a coach, you, sometimes it happens that the, the hitter who's least efficient gets the most yeah. swings. So you got to think, all right, we got to go somewhere else right now. They are keying on her too much. Well, I think the other thing that they're trying to balance out is at some point, Lexi has been so good throughout the postseason, they've got to get her started. So you want to keep giving her chances. And right now it's set point for Texas. And that's on a net violation on Texas. One of the rare good passes for Michigan, right on Dana Miller, the setter's head. Then they could run their offense. But if they don't do that, they're struggling because there are such tall, high-jumping blockers for Texas. Chance for Texas to win the set here. Webster swinging from way outside the line and goes cross-court to get it. As impressive a first set in a national semifinal as we've seen in quite some time. The three seed looking strong. And they take the early lead over Michigan.